Hi, welcome back to Circuits with Angel. Today we're going to explore more options on Tinkercad for 3D modeling. Let's start. Here is a part I printed, a 3D cat. You can follow along and build this design with me too. I already have Tinkercad open, so we're just going to create new design and get started on making our 3D cat. Sometimes it, we have a slow internet. So it may take a bit of time to load. Now I must remind you again how to put objects down. You hover over the object you want to place, left click it, and then it drag it on the work plane, and then left click again, and it should be there. So now we have a sphere, or a 3D circle. This will be the start of the head for our 3D cat. We're going to make it a bit wider because a cat's actual head isn't a perfect circle. Now that should be big enough to fit both ear shapes on. We're going to take two paraboloids for the ears. They're like rounded cones. I'm just sizing it down right now. I'll put in an overlay what the, the end size is so you can make one exactly like this. But right now we're just trying to get the perfect ear shape. And now we're going to lift the paraboloid by using the triangle button on top until it's about the top of the sphere. And then there's this back and forth button and we're going to click that and we're going to move it to about the side of the head until it's no longer sticking out of the sphere. That's called the rotation button and we use it all the time. I just copy pasted that with control C and then control V. And I'm going to rotate it again to that side, and that's good. Let's do a bit of quick rotating using right mouse button and dragging around to make sure it looks like a proper head. Everything in that square will be selected, and I'm going to press group, which is this button. That makes it one object that acts like it's just a one whole object, like a sphere or the paraboloid. Now I don't really think I want it to be that way, so I'll just ungroup it. I'm having a bit of indecision over here, but I think I'll keep it grouped. So now I have one cat head. Let's start on making the cat body. We're gonna take a sphere and we're gonna make it extra long because cat bodies are longer than their heads. It's also going to be a bit shorter because we don't want this cat to be too fat. I'm just going to make the head a bit smaller so it can kind of fit with the body. Then we press the triangle and we're going to lift it up and it'll be a bit taller than the body and we're just going to fit it in there. The body is kind of small compared to the head right now, so we're going to try and fix that. I'm trying my best not to make his body look like a mint, but it seems that his body is just going to be that way. It appears I have just grouped them again. I mean, the body looks okay, but it could be better. Actually, no, I don't want to group there because we're going to have to group that with the legs. And then we just move the head around a bit to make sure it looks proper on the body. And now we're going to have to take some paraboloids and turn them into legs. We're also going to be using the half circle. But right now we're going to rotate this thin and tall paraboloid I made. We want it so it's touching the ground but not exactly flat with the ground because the paraboloid can't actually do that. And then, this is still a straight paraboloid, but we move it into the body and it appears now I'm going to rotate it so that the front tip touches the ground. So one arm goes on the left and one goes on the right. So we're gonna go press the copy button and paste the button. Or you could just, you know, do control C and control V. Or we could use the mirror function that's a triangle with another triangle on the other side of the line. 
and you press it the arrow to the point where you want it to be. So this one goes side to side because I want it to switch to the other side. And this one I'm going to do copy and paste. That's the copy button and that's the paste button. And it makes an exact copy of that. So we're going to now move our other arm and we're going to move it back until it looks proper. Well, that doesn't look really good, so we're going to rotate it until it sticks out a bit because cat's legs aren't that short. And then we're just going to copy and paste it again and we're going to move it over to the other side and then we're going to readjust our legs so they look a bit better. Then we're going to use mirror again and press that button, the one that goes across, and then we have the other leg. It's a pretty handy tool. It still looks a bit odd, so let's just move it a little bit out of the body. Something's a bit off though. Cats don't usually just have pointed legs. They usually have little paws. And that's where we're going to get some half circles and we're going to make them real small. And we're just going to put them on the ends of all those paraboloids. Oh, excuse me, that's a half sphere, not a circle. Circles are flat and spheres are 3D, so it's a half sphere. Almost perfect, but we need to get it to like look very nice on the leg. Because once we print it out, we cannot change it unless we make a new file with new materials in the 3D printer. Which you don't really want to waste material on bad prints. So we'll try to get it right the first time. So there I just copy pasted like three more paws. I'm going to group that as one body piece, as I said I would. And there's one thing we're missing here. A tail, because cats have tails. So I found a very nice piece in the shape generators category. It's around the top somewhere. And it's called an 5-4-G revolver. Basically, it makes a circle revolver that is like, it goes up to a certain point on a sliding scale, which you'll see soon enough. So we're going to click that and drag it onto the work plane at the back of the cat's body. You can put the cat's tail however you want it. I just want it to curl around, around the back leg. I want my cat's tail to be a bit thinner. So I'm just going to use this slider sketch height and I'm going to make it a bit smaller. If you want yours thicker, then slide it up. Also, the cat's tail doesn't come from like, like exactly the bottom of his uh, back. So I want to put it a bit up and then rotate it to touch the ground, but not go underneath it or else it won't print. And then I'm just going to adjust the head because I think it's a bit too big for its body, but you might think otherwise and just do whatever you want. It's your cat. And now I'm going to group it because the cat is now finished. There's nothing left. Now we can go print it out. You can resize yours if you want by pressing the corners and entering numbers on this selected side. But I'm going to keep it this way because I already measured it out with my caliper off screen and it shows that it's pretty good. So yeah, that's how you make a 3D cat. I decided to do this design because on a, my account, everybody keeps it remixing this and copying the design to print out themselves and I decided that you know what this is probably a really popular design and I made it. So in this video we learned how to rotate an object, 
how to mirror an object, how to copy and paste objects, and how to group objects. Thanks for watching and see you next time.